What's up guys, Maddox here, back with another video. Today we're checking out Mr. Carlos Ayala. Did I say that right? Sorry guys, uh, my Spanish is no bueno. But today we're taking a look at his Azteca setup. Kind of see it behind me. I'm so excited to see it in person. I've seen like some pictures and videos. His brother uh, Vic has sent me some. How's Shout out to Vic, appreciate it. But yeah, let's go check it out, man. So we'll start from the back here. Um, You kind of see how he has some of his stags. Um, Mr. Carlos has his stags out and about over here again younger pullets and stags and stuff like that um with some nests and these are actually mine um uh, mr carlos was kind enough to hold them when i went to alaska um he just was holding them nor was i again thank you mr carlos for holding them um i really appreciate it my friend my, my amigo and then he got his like a little workstation area kind of like what me and my dad have like our work but since it's like just bantams it's a little smaller uh hopefully i can build like a little shed like this for my aztecas kind of keep them away from like uh the burning sun and stuff like that you know all the elements but yeah over here if you come down from like where the stags were if you come down this is where like all the brooding pens are um mr carlos is i believe he's taking these ones to dallas expo oh, yeah, you can see a vanilla azteca um again mr carlos is taking him for the show wow they're looking really really great i love it here dude i could just stay here in this room and just like blunt and just like look at these birds all day bro it's more like brooders or like you know for the bigger birds you slide down this is gonna be where all the champions are i believe you can kind of see them i believe these are all the birds that have won shows or placed in shows he's definitely a champion if you cannot tell you got the self blue, you got the white, and of course you gotta have the black. Wow. Again, I believe these ones all have won or have placed in a show. Again, these are Mr. Carlos's brewcock. Over here, you got some more chicks. Oh, they're like, I think it's a self blue or like a splash. Azteca. This is very nice. Look at that, another Giro Plata. Wow, with some hands. And then we have like some, uh, uh, the one with the toppy. You kind of see the hand. She has a toppy. Um, technically, you can't show these guys because, again, that guy doesn't have a straight comb. Um, and that hen has a toppy, but still can breed them and still, you know, do your own thing with them. Uh, I believe these have Azteca in them, so they do have, like, the shape of, again, you know, game file and stuff like that. It's just, uh, they just have toppies. Wow. Look at that, man. That has some spangles. I think it's more of, like, a modeled, more of, like, a modeled color, more of, like, a, a domino Azteca. Wow, she's a gorgeous hen. Look at her eyes. Wow. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you kind of see how they have their bottle feeder set up. Kind of like how I have mine. Um, and then he also has these type of feeders. It's like a like a bowl. Like a, a bowl of water that kind of just filled up water through here, I believe. Yep, there you go. And then, uh, again, it just acts like a automatic feeder, like a bowl of uh, water and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Mr. Carlos' setup. Very badass setup. Hopefully, I could build a shed like this with my dad, you know what I mean? Or my godfather. But yeah, very happy and, and very thankful they had me over. And I'm thankful that they took care of my birds, baby. <laughs> Uh, I'm upset Have I had a good day and way too long And I feel like every breath Breathing in more problems in my lungs Please tell me Everything's gonna be okay Cause I don't wanna leave you But I don't wanna feel this way And I don't wanna feel this But I don't see another way I